Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, just watched the um, PlayStation State of Play. So, so you're wondering why everything's a bit of a mess. That's why I just came home from the gym, um, put everything away. Um, well, mostly on my bed. That's putting it away from me, guys. Usually, I just put it on my bed so I can put it away once I've done what I want to do. Um, I watched the PlayStation thing. Um, to be honest, there's nothing in there super exciting for me. Um, some of the games were more. Um, well, not hor- I don't know if they're horror games and such, but got horror elements, and I'm not into that kind of stuff, so it's really a big turn-off for me. So that really turned most of the games off. Um, I don't know what Sonic Origins was doing in there, but considering I'm pretty sure that's already out, but yeah, um, overall, guys, I think it was actually a real... Well, for me, it was a point, man. I don't think there was anything there worth it. Um, the only game that I really found... Uh, interesting was the very last one. I've forgotten the name of the game, guys, but it goes for like eight minutes or something. It's actually got kind of a... It's really got a deep story. I can actually b- can't believe how deep it is. Um, now, I think it does have a bit of horror in it there and there, but, um, you know, some games... It's not a horror m- movie. It's actually not like Prey or... Uh, I think they had Silent Hill on there as well, which is tech- it's on that category, so... Yeah, there's nothing there super exciting uh, for me, guys. Um, I thought I'd just make this quick video just saying yeah, it was just a disappointment for me. Um, now, I don't have a PlayStation at, at this current time. I do have an Xbox that works perfectly. I've got a Switch that does not work perfectly. Thank you, Nintendo, for making a shitty USB port. Um, that's why it's not working. It's cacked it. The USB port's not charging at all, so it's completely useless. I've got to argue with Nintendo because it's, it's just over a year and a half no, a year and a few months old. So I'm really disappointed on that. It should be working 100%. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, PlayStation is the only one I don't have at the moment. And I'm using that term at the moment because I do plan to get one. Um, I just have money coming in a few weeks or a few, a few weeks there. Yeah, probably a few weeks or a few months. Um, so I'll probably get a PlayStation 5 after that. I don't know if I'm going to wait into the Pro Edition because there is a Pro Edition coming out. So no point buying the Slim or the normal one. So I might just wait till the Pro comes out before doing that. And yeah, some of these games are not too exciting to me, guys. Like I said, um, none of them are appealing to me. I can't really talk anything about them because I just don't know a huge amount of information. The last one was the only one I really found yet uh, really interesting. Uh, I think because it was made by one of the um, more famous developers. I do know his name sort of, but I I can't pronounce it. It's just one of those words for my brain, not the process. But yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. Now, saying that, uh, and, the, and before we end this video, they do have another event coming on the 6th. So I'll be watching that one. And this one will be a bit more exciting because it's Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So I don't know a huge amount of information about um, Final Fantasy VII. I'm going to research the Final Fantasy VII stuff before I say it. So I actually have an idea of the fact that talk what's going on. Um, I am a fan of Final Fantasy, just not seven. I played like here's the thing: with Final Fantasy, I played up to like three or four, and then I played thirteen, fifteen, and that's it. About it. As I see on one of my streams, guys, I want to play the whole way from one. To I think 16 now, and that includes the little ones that are in the way, like Type R and the other little bits and pieces. So, yeah, that's my big plan on that situation. And I'll be doing that on my Let's Plays on, on my other channel. Um, I only got three channels, guys. Is it three channels? Yeah, three channels. This one, my Let's Play one, which includes the streams of those games, some of, the, some of those games, and my Minecraft one, which is doing usually pretty well, but it's been a bit quiet now, probably because I don't. Listen, guys, I was testing a period out, seeing if these shorts do help or not, and I have to say, they do actually help out. So, yeah, I'm hoping to get an editor in a few uh, some time, guys, because I would like someone to um, do these videos. Well, at least make clips out of them. It's just, I'm not the best at it. So, if I'm able to get someone to help me out a little bit there and there, especially on this channel, um, that'll be great. Um, like I said, in other channels, uh, in the other channels, guys, None of these channels are profitable at the moment, so I'm hoping to change that because I will be putting a lot of new content out on here, guys. I do have a, I got a few videos coming out actually now you think of it. Um, let's see, I got, well, obviously this one. I got two more for the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, so it's the presentation plus my thoughts on it. So that's two. I got one I'm talking about um, Retro Arch and how to install it on the computer, which I got here. 
I just haven't uploaded. I might upload it tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow might be good. Or the day after. One, one of the days. Um, my normal FOD videos. Um, but yeah, it's not much there. Uh, for me, I think that's going to be the most interesting part, guys, is watching the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And that's where we will meet up again, guys. On that note, I'm going to finish it here. Uh, yeah, I, I ended up watching, I watched most of it. I kind of went in and out because I thought it was kind of um, dull, to be honest. But it wasn't the best one. I mean, it's definitely, not, I don't know if it was the worst one. It'll be, uh, be up there, though. So a lot of the games I like playing are like um, street racing, RPGs, platformers. They had a few games that have a platforming elements, but none of them will always speak to me. So that's my review, guys. It's pretty, for me, it's pretty low. On that note, guys, cheers.